Why am I showing you an empty field? Well, this was the site of the Gilmer Hotel, which we talked about earlier. Um, but what I want to talk about is what this hotel represented at the turn of the century, but especially in the 20s and early 30s during the Great Depression. There was a famous poet who spent his teenage years here in this the hotel that once stood here. Um, his, he was born in Hazelhurst to a family of hoteliers called the Ford family. The young man's name was Charles Henry Ford and he grew up to become a poet, a photographer, a novelist, a critic, an editor, and an openly gay man living a very avant-garde lifestyle in all over the world, including Paris, Kathmandu, and uh, New York City. Henry, Charles Henry Ford is often credited with introducing surrealism to American art through his photography. He is considered also the first U U.S. surrealist poet. As a young man, he worked as a cashier at the Gilmer Hotel after being kicked out of his expensive private high school at the age of 16. He uh, was expelled for smoking in the classroom and for some other egregious behaviors. At that same age that he was expelled from school, he and two of his friends in 1929 started a magazine called Blues, a magazine of new rhythms. While it only lasted nine issues, it included works submitted by great poets like Gertrude Stein and Ezra Pound. Uh, Ford is also credited for having the first American gay novel, The Young and the Evil, that he co-authored with Parker Tyler in 1933. It was banned in the U.S. and England until 1975. Charles Henry Ford, of course, was not the first gay man to live in Columbus, Mississippi, and he, of course, wasn't the last. Although, he was one of the first to openly embrace his own true self and to live openly first in Columbus and later in New York City. And that is the story 